if I want to find the general solution, I want to find the equation that gave you this derivative. In order to do that, you first have to multiply dx over. So you get dy equals x. And this is 5 minus x to the 1 half dx. Um, it's easier to make it half powers and square roots. And the reason we moved it over, what we do now is we integrate both sides. The integral of dy is y. And then we're going to integrate this. Now there's a problem though. To integrate this, don't we have to do u substitution? Yes. So let's go over here and do u substitution. u is probably 5 minus x. When you derive that, you get negative x, sorry, negative 1 dx. Uh-oh. Uh that doesn't help us too much because we now have du or negative 1 du equals dx. Does that get rid of the x? No. But if we go back to this, can we write this as x equals 5 minus u? Can I get this into x equals 5 minus u? Rewrite this like this. So what we now have is the integral of x is 5 minus u. And isn't this u to the 1 half? Isn't this du? And can I put a negative 1 out front? And the negative 1 goes out front with the du. This is u to the 1 half. And isn't x 5 minus u? x is 5 minus u. u to the 1 half. du, negative 1. Now we can integrate. Before we integrate this, Let's multiply this out. 5u to the 1 half minus u to the 3 halves. Can we integrate each piece individually now? Yes. You can integrate each of these individually. So I now have y equals negative 1. And the integral of this would be Well, the 5 stays out. This, sorry, <clears throat> you add 1, which would be 3 over 2. Divide by that. So that would be 10 over 3, u to the 3 over 2, minus this one. You add 1, it would be 5 over 2. So it would be 2 over 5, u to the 5 over 2. Plus C. Plug your U back in. And you probably could simplify this quite a bit. I'm going to, because of negative, actually, I'll leave the negative out. That will be a negative. You could pull out a U to the 3 over 2. And that would leave you, you could also pull out a 2. You'd probably leave us a 5. Oops, 5, just 5 over 3 minus u over 5 plus c. So I pull the 2 out of both tops. I pull the u to the 3 over 2. This is your answer. Now you can plug all your u's in. And you could probably simplify it a whole bunch of other different ways. But your final answer, according to what we have here, is this is 5 minus x to the 3 over 2 times 5 thirds minus 5 minus x over 5 plus c. Again, you could constantly keep simplifying this down. I'm not going to go that far.